I said in that waiting room It seemed like all afternoon The nurse finally said Doc's ready for you You're not gonna feel a thing We'll give you some Novocaine That tooth will be fine In a minute or two And he stuck that needle Down deep in my gum And he started drilling This is a quick microphone check Are you getting a good read right there on your dial? for the uh, mic two that Callie's going to talk into in just a minute. Done. There's a beautiful sunset burning up the atmosphere. There's music and dancing and lovers romancing the salty evening air on some beach somewhere. Mic check, one, two. Mic check, test. Test, one, two. Mic check, this is Callie. Are you ready? Hi, I'm Callie Griffin and I'm a senior here at Breckenridge High School. Hi, I am Callie Griffin and I'm a senior here at Breckenridge High School. I'm graduating here in about 30 minutes or so, and this will be my last broadcast, so I will be signing off. I have really enjoyed my time here at Breckenridge with all the live stream team and all my various media projects. Here in a second, the valedictorian and the salutatorian will take us into the parade of schools. Go Bucks! Hello, my name is Keaton Regal, and I'm your class of 2023 valedictorian. Hi, my name is Harry Gandhi, and I'm your class of 2023 salutatorian. Uh, we would like to invite you to the graduation ceremony that is this Friday night at 7 here in the AFA gym. If you cannot make it, don't worry, we are going to live stream it on our Buckaroo YouTube channel, but please try to be here in person, it's going to be more fun. Right after this video, we're actually going to be doing our parade of schools where we walk through the junior high, the high school, east and south. It's a lot of fun, uh, and right after this video, we will also include some short clips and little videos of it as well. And once again, I want to invite you all to be here in person. We need all the love and support that we can. Let's go go Bucks!
people are crazy Feeling high as I started sinking lower. The minute that she walks right through that door. Not long ago I held her like a fool. I went and left her. Now she's with somebody new out on that floor. And she's got the rhythm, and I got the blues. And she's showing me how much I had to lose. Got the rhythm and I got the blues. Yeehaw. Well, that music's getting louder. Beating faster, and she spells out regret in perfect time. Well, I thought I wanted freedom, but that ball and chain I need 'em. But when you choose, sometimes you lose the prize. 'Cause she's got the rhythm, and I got the blues, and she's showing me how much I had to lose. Telling me I'm over you. She's got the rhythm, and I got the blues. Yeah, with her every little move, she's telling me I'm over you. She's got the rhythm, and I got the blues. Turn the lights down low. Put some music on that's soft and slow. And baby, we ain't got no place to go. I hope you understand. I've been thinking about this all day long. Never felt a feeling quite this strong. I can't believe how much it turns me on. Just to be your man. There's no hurry, don't you worry. We can take our time. Come a little closer. Let's go over what I had in mind. Baby, lock the door and turn the lights down low. Put some music on that's soft and slow, baby. We ain't got no place to go. I hope you understand. I've been thinking about this all day long. Never felt a feeling quite this strong. I can't believe how much it turns me on. Just to be your man.
turn the lights down low and put some music on that's soft and slow baby we ain't got no place to go i hope you understand i've been thinking about this all day long never felt a feeling that was quite this strong i can't believe how much it turns me on just to be your man i can't believe how much it turns me on just to be your man
Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, if you will please remain standing as Mr. Keaton Ragel comes and gives our invocation. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you tonight in thanks of all the things that you've helped us seniors accomplish and overcome throughout our high school journey. I ask that you please encourage us as we begin the next stages of our lives and that you calm any nervousness or anxiety that may arise from the massive change that we are about to make. Lord, I am so thankful for the time that you've given us to grow with one another throughout the years and I ask that you help each and every one of us continue that growth as we journey into what you have planned for us in the future. Once again, Lord, I just want to thank you for all that you've done for us, especially the sacrifice that your son made on that cross so that we could be saved from the sins of this world. And it is his wonderful name that I pray. Amen. You may be seated. On behalf of the Board of Education, the administration, faculty and staff of Breckenridge Independent School District, we welcome you to the commencement exercises for the 2023 seniors of Breckenridge High School. Will you please silence your cell phones so that we can all enjoy this celebration of student achievement. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize our guests this evening. Mr. Brian Allen, Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Prairie Freeman, Curriculum Director, Mrs. Marley Shepard, Director of Learning, Mr. Jeremy West, High School Assistant Principal, Mrs. Laura Gibson, Junior High Principal, Mrs. Monica Pierce, Junior High Assistant Principal, Mr. Joshua Holt, South Elementary Principal, Shannon Dean, East Elementary Principal, and Shandy Mondi, our ALC Director. I'd like to also recognize our esteemed school board members, President of our school board, school board Mr. Nick McClyman, Vice President Graham Ray, Secretary Carol Kennedy, Paul Lippi, Roy Russell, Chad Townsend, Jimmy McKay, and I am Paul Armstrong, Principal at Breckenridge High School. Thank you for your time this evening. Thank you for coming out to celebrate all of the accolades that struggles that these students have put forward over the course of the last four years. We would like to give a special thanks to H&H &H Garden Center for the plants that are used tonight, and also a big thank you goes out to our counselors who decorated all the maintenance crew, the custodial staff, and everybody else who took to put this show on for tonight. Thank you, guys. We also definitely want to thank our senior parents. Without our senior parents, these kids wouldn't be able to make it to this point in time. We also thank them for the fact that they are providing an alcohol and drug-free night tonight, <coughs> project graduation after the graduation ceremony. We also want to thank our community. Once again, our community has shown its generosity by granting 90 scholarships to a total of 27 of our seniors. The total dollar amount this year is $82,802. Y'all can go ahead and give a round of applause for that. These scholarships are all listed in the insert in the graduation program, and these scholarships were handed out to the recipients during an award ceremony at the high school and a reception held by our Chamber of Commerce. On behalf of the students and staff, I would like to give a big thank you to our grantors for their continued support. Thank you very much. And now for the accolades. It is now my privilege to present these awards. The salutatorian has a four-year average of 4.592 and will receive the principal's award for salutatorian. This year's salutatorian is Miss Here Utpal Gandhi.
Our valedictorian, with a four-year high school average of 4.653, has received the State of Texas Honor Graduate Certificate, which entitles its bearer to one year's tuition at any state-supported school. This year's principal award for valedictorian is Mr. Keaton Sy Regal. At this time, I'm going to ask our counselors, Ms. Leah, Young, Ms. Leah Robertson and Ms. Allison Young, if they will come up. We're going to hand out the awards for the top 10%. The University Interscholastic League Awards are presented to the top 10% of the graduate whose academic and extracurricular achievements have been exemplary and whose self-discipline in preparation and integrity and competition are a model to others. Our recipients for the 2023 school year, Ms. Heer Utpal Gandhi, Ms. Callie Elizabeth Griffin, Mr. Tristan Cade Myers. Mr. Keaton Sai. Regal. Mr. Anson Clark Rogers. Miss Avery Grace Rogers. Ms. Kara DeRay Scotty. And Mr. Chase Jordan Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your top 10% UIL award recipients. Thank you guys. At this time, I would like to recognize all of our honor graduates by having them stand. At this time, if you are an honor graduate, please stand. In order to qualify. In order to qualify as an honor student, you must maintain an average of 3.0 or above. Give a hand for these guys. These are your honors graduates. You may be seated. At this time, will all of our National Honor Society members please stand. They are wearing the white NHS stole. In order to be a part of this organization, you must have a 3.5 GPA or better and go through an intensive interview process. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 NHS members. And now, if our FFA members would please stand. The FFA cords in national blue and corn gold are worn by seniors that have participated in FFA for a minimum of three years, including their senior year. They have participated in judging, speaking, or leadership events and, had, and have to have had a supervised agricultural project. Now, for our seniors who received their Lone Star degree, if you received your Lone Star degree, please stand. For those of you who do not know, 
The Lone Star degree is only conferred on less than 2% of all FFA members in the state. 2% out of over 120,000 young men and women who are members of the FFA. Let's give a round of applause for these. <laughs> dual credit. Seniors, if you took dual credits and you received a gold cord, please stand. The gold cord represents dual credit classes. Each of these students have taken at least 12 hours in dual credit and they have received a gold cord. A lot of time and effort and work has gone in. Let's give these people a round of applause. If you have a purple cord, please stand. Purple cord represents ACT and SAT. In order to qualify for the Purple Cord, you must have scored a 29 or better on your ACT test and a 1250 or better on your SAT test. Ladies and gentlemen, your Purple Cord recipients. <laughs> if you have received one or more industry certifications, please stand. These students have completed the required course pathway for industrial arts in their individual disciplines. Four credits in the art of their choice. Give a round of applause for these guys. <laughs> Final chords, blood donors. If you have a red cord, please stand. The red cord symbolizes that the seniors are dual blood donors. Breckenridge High School's blood drives have collected 46 units of whole blood, 11 double red cells, and three plasmas for a total of 60 pints of life-saving blood this school year, and the majority of those units have been given by seniors. Each unit can save up to three lives, and so that's 126 lives that these young men and women have touched in our community. Let's give a round of applause. We would now like to acknowledge our seniors that have enlisted in the military. If I can please have Jose Manuel Mendoza and Mr. Emilio Alejandro Maya, would you please stand? <laughs> Jose Manuel Mendoza has enlisted in the Marine Corps and Emilio Alejandro Maya has enlisted in the Air Force. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please give them a round of standing ovation. It is definitely nice to see Breckenridge High School continuing its push into the military. Last and certainly not least, I'd like to give thanks to Nurse McKenzie for training our senior kids this year in CPR. If you were trained by Miss Nurse McKenzie this year, please stand. At this time, we are going to have our <coughs> salutatorian address and our valedictorian address. Our salutatorian address will now be presented by Ms. Heer Utpal Gandhi, immediately followed by our valedictorian's address given by Mr. Keaton Sai Regal. Good evening, everyone. My name is Hiro Gandhi. I'm so honored and excited to be standing here today as Breckenridge High School's Class of 2023 Salutatorian. And boy, am I excited. Now, let me tell you something. When I first moved to Breckenridge, or rather to Texas in 2019 from San Francisco, I know why Breckenridge, right? Well, that's a story for another day. 
So now, coming back to my TED Talk, they all have the privilege of attending in person today. Uh, so first, Texas, then Breckenridge, and then BHS. And I remember telling myself that it doesn't get any worse than this. Just kidding, sort of. Although you all talk English, I have discovered that y'all, Texans, tend to eat the ends of your words. Examples include, you all is y'all, bye is ba, howdy. What in the world is that? Okay, in our fresh talking, on the serious side of things, I still remember the first day when I walked into this school. And I'll be honest, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I felt very lonely and left out as I didn't know anybody. And it was so hard to become a part of this tight needed community. This community was not very accepting of me at first. Maybe it was because I was an outsider or something else. I don't know, it will always be a mystery. Anyways, during this journey, some stepped up and accepted me for who I was. I made some of the bestest friends here, like Kelly Griffin, Zeke Castillo, Parks Gill, Kara Scotty, and our valedictorian, Ian Regal. These people are not just my friends, but they are my family. They already know this, but I would like to tell y'all how much I love and care about them. I would go to any extent for them, and when I say any extent, I mean it. At the end of this night, we all are going to go our separate ways. Some are going to go to Snyder, some are going to Stevenville, and some are going to Abilene. But I would like to promise y'all, Zeke, Kelly, Parks, and Kieran, that no matter where you are in the world, I'm just one phone call or a text away. And as you know, I reply fast. So I'm actually one phone call and text away. Okay, apart from finding my bestest friends here, I also found another mother here. She's one boss woman in this campus. Without her, this Breckenridge High School is incomplete. For those of you who are still trying to guess who I'm referring to, I'm referring to Miss Jones. If somebody asked me how would I describe Miss Jones, I would say that she's like a coconut, hard from outside and soft from the inside. Miss Jones has always supported me and has always been with me through all the ups and downs. She's like my personal therapist. I have always seen Miss Jones as my bonus mother. She's always the first one to cheer me on whenever I do something good, and she's also the first one to yell at me whenever I do something stupid. I have never told you this, Miss Jones, but I am truly grateful for you in my life. With my bonus mother, I also found my long lost sister. I have only known Cassie for one year, but it feels like I have known her forever. I met her at the beginning of this year, and we instantly connected. If you know me, then you know that I don't open up to people easily. It takes me some time to open up. But with Cassie, it was just something else. We instantly connected on so many levels. Majorly, it was on brown people things, but it was just magical. Um, I always told Cassie whenever I'm in the office that she is my sister from like past life or something because there's no way she can know me so much in just a year or actually less than that. It is so crazy that sometimes she can just read my mind too. She would just look at me and tell me, stop it, that's rude. I would be so confused, like how does she know what I was thinking? She probably did some magic or something on me. I'm just kidding, I love you Cassie. I can talk all day, but let me wrap it up. So as I conclude my speech, I would like to thank everyone who helped and supported me throughout. Without y'all, I would have not been able to do this. I want to especially thank my grandpa for always pushing me beyond my limits. I know that you're not here with me to celebrate this special moment, but I know that you're watching from heaven and are super proud of me. It was a great experience to be among these wonderful classmates and staff. I'll forever be grateful for everyone who showed me into a better person and prepared me for what my future has to offer. I wish all the graduates nothing but the best for your future plans. As I make my way to Evelyn Christian University, I'll miss each and every one of you that I crossed paths with during these four years. Thank you for highlighting my Breckenridge High School journeys with a bunch of colors and making it worth remembering. Once again, thank you for making this day special. And yes, again, cheers to the class of 2023. Woo! We made it. And here's to going back to being a freshman again. Thank you.
<laughs> Hello. Hey guys, and welcome, friends, family, guests, faculty, administration, and of course, my fellow graduates. My name is Keaton Ragel, and I'm honored to be your class of 2023 valedictorian. Thank you. Before I begin, I just want to take some time to thank all of those who have been instrumental in me being where I am today. First, I'd like to thank all the school staff, the custodians and the maintenance crew who are always willing to clean up our messes, and the teachers, counselors, coaches, principals, and administration who are always there to teach and guide us through the hard times and help us, each of us, through our own individual endeavors. I'd like to thank all my fellow classmates and close friends for all the many memories that we made together throughout the years. Starting off as someone who is not always the most socially interactive kid, I have all of you to thank for helping bring me out of my comfort zone and getting to know people that I might not have been able to otherwise. I'd like to thank my family for always being there for me, even when I was in my darkest of moments. My sister, Zaya, thank you for always being someone that I could lean on and talk to. My mother, Letitia, thank you for always being there to guide me through anything, especially when it came to my spiritual walk. And of course, my father, Casey, thank you for being such a great role model to me throughout the years and always being someone that I could relate with. Most importantly, though, is that I just want to thank God for who he is and what he's done for me personally, as well as what he has helped us accomplish throughout the years and all the hard times that he's helped us get through. Now, to the class of 2023. Wow, what a journey it has been. It feels like just yesterday that we were first walking the halls of this high school. May not have started out as expected with COVID hurting our freshman and sophomore years, but we all have managed to push through. And I could not have asked for a better group of people to go alongside this journey with. We all overcame our own hardships and struggles throughout our lives. Whether it was something as simple as passing a math test or something as difficult as dealing with the loss of a close friend or loved one. However, some of these pale in comparison to the struggles and stresses that are to come in the next stages of our lives, whether you're going to college, entering the military, or going straight into the workforce. I want to encourage each and every graduate that is here today to always remember how you were able to overcome the hardships of high school and use those experiences as a tool to make it through the struggles that are to come. Personally, I know that I will always look back at my experiences being diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic and how God helped me to be able to push through all the life-altering changes that I had to make. From now on, I will look back on that experience as a form of encouragement towards myself when I feel like I cannot continue. And I hope that each and every one of you can find a similar experience in your lives so that you can do the same. I also want to encourage all my fellow classmates to always remember those who helped guide you to this profound moment in your lives. Remember the teachers and the counselors that helped get you through a class or guided you through a tough time. Remember the custodians and maintenance crew who brined up your day through something as simple as a passing smile. Remember the principals and administration who always had your best interest in mind, even though you might not have always agreed with the decisions that they made. Remember the friends and the family that you made such fond memories with throughout the years and will also be there to encourage you in all of your future endeavors. But most importantly, for those who feel as if there was no one for them to remember, as they believe that no one really had a profound impact on where they are today, remember the Creator who was and is and always will be there for you, no matter what you've been through, no matter what you're going through, and no matter what you're going to go through. And never overlook that last one, as no matter where you may find yourselves as you walk after you walk out of this gym tonight, God will always be there for you. There's a verse in 2 Timothy chapter 1 that has always helped me remember how God affects my life in a positive way. In verse 7 it says, For God gave us not a spirit of fear, but one of power and love and self-control. I hope that this verse helps all of you not only remember how God and others have been influential in your lives, but also that it helps you get through the present and future hardships that you may experience, just like it has helped me get through many of my past stresses and struggles. Lastly, I want to encourage you all to never forget the memories that we made as we begin the next chapters of our lives. Never forget the funny moments of listening to Mr. B's jokes in algebra or that one time Nando figured out all his acorns were dead in that freshman biology project. 
Never forget the frustrating moments of remembering that Mrs. Farmer's essay is, is due at the end of the day, or dreading the next set of 200 dual credit anatomy concepts. And definitely never forget the encouraging moments, as I know that I will always remember the care that all of you showed towards me when I returned from the hospital after my diagnosis last year. All of these memories show that we have been through a lot together, and I'm so glad to have done it with this group of people. However, while it is important to remember all the memories that we have made, don't let that hold you back from making new memories in the next chapters of your lives. Rather, let these moments in high school be the foundation of new friendships that in turn lead to even more memories that you will never forget. And as I conclude, let that previous thought apply to all the other aspects of our high school experience that I encourage you to remember. Let the hardships that you were able to overcome be the foundation for perseverance through the trials that are ahead. Let the influential people be the basis for who you'll let impact your life in the future. And finally, let the memories of high school not only be the core of new friendships and memories, but also let them remind you of all the beneficial experiences that you've gained from this place. And in turn, let that be the foundation of how you handle new experiences in the next chapters of your lives. In closing, I would once again like to thank all of those who have had a profound impact on all of our lives. We will never be able to thank each and every one of you enough for how influential you have been. And if there is anything that I want to leave my fellow graduates with tonight, is that you should never forget the places, the people, and the experiences that have shaped your past, as those memories will be instrumental in how you build your future. Go Bucks. And now for the moment that most of you have been waiting for. This time I would like to take this opportunity to, to introduce Mr. Brian Allen, Superintendent of Schools for Breckenridge Independent School District, to present the graduating class of 2023. Mr. Allen. Every year I get up here and I think, man, we've got to work on the order of this thing because I would much rather follow Mr. Armstrong than to have to follow those two great speeches right there. Let's give them another round of applause. Those were awesome. So seniors, would you go ahead and stand for me, please? And, and one of the things uh, before I get to the important stuff, what I like to do is I want you to look around at all these folks that showed up in the stands. There's a whole ton of people out in the foyer because there's not enough places to sit. Hey, they are here for you, and they have helped you get to where you are today. So I want you to give them a round of applause. So I will make this quick. On behalf of the Breckenridge ISD Board of Trustees, uh, the Breckenridge ISD administrators, your teachers and staff members, all your families, and everyone who has been along your side during this journey, I, Brian Allen, Superintendent of Schools for the Breckenridge Independent School District, do hereby certify that each of you have completed the requirements set forth by the State of Texas and the Texas Education Agency and we recognize you as graduates of the Breckenridge High School class of 2023. So as you, as you wear your tassel on the right side, that signifies your time here as a student. So at this time, go ahead and move that tassel to the, to the left side. Hey, and I, I know each of you has a bright future with endless possibilities ahead of you. And I want to wish you good luck, and God bless, and go Bucks. You may be seated.
as we get ready to present our diplomas this evening, our diplomas are going to um, be handed out by Mr. Nick McClimate, our president of the school board, uh, with the help of both Leah Robertson and Miss Allison Young. At this time, I'm also going to ask our district administrative staff and our school board members if they would line up to my right as our greeting line, followed by our secondary campus administrators. First row, if you please stand. McKenna Brianne Adams. Nathaniel Ryan Mosqueda Aguilar. <laughs> McKenna caught me a little off guard. McKenna is the daughter of Cindy Adams. She plans to attend Cisco College, then transfer to Angelo State University, get her doctorate degree in occupational therapy with a minor in child psychology. Mr. Aguilar is the son of Tanya Beasley. In the fall, he is going to Tarleton State University and plans to pursue a career in coaching. Phineas Michael Bacon. <laughs> Phineas is the son of Chelsea Taylor and Michael Bacon. He plans to take real estate classes and become a realtor. Sadie Allison Bailey. Sadie is the daughter of Allison Bailey and Brian Rusher and Stephen and Sandra Bailey. She plans to attend a trade school or go into the workforce. Bernardo Manuel Becerra, Jr. <laughs> Bernardo is the son of Bernardo and Diana Becerra. He will be going to Tarleton State University for accounting in the fall. Destin Charles Benton. <laughs> Destin is the son of Raymond and Misty Benton. He plans to become a game designer. <laughs> Hannah Jo Bounds. Hannah is the daughter of Cami Norred and Travis Bounds. She plans to attend Cisco College and then transfer to Hardin Simmons for the physical therapy program. <laughs> Miss Gemma Lee Brashear. Gemma is the daughter of Michael and Cher Cunningham. She is attending Weatherford College for nursing. David Ezekiel, David Castillo. <laughs> Ezekiel is the son of Jason and Marca Castillo. He plans to attend Western College, Western Texas College, to pursue a career as an electrical lineman. <laughs> Tatiana Messiah De La Cruz. Tatiana is the daughter of Billy and Brittany Williams. Her future plans are to take a year off and then pursue a degree in business management. Alana Lynn Douthit. Alana is the daughter of Mike and Angie Douthit, and she will be attending Weatherford College in the fall. Eugenia Lene Duran. Eugenia is the daughter of Servando and Eugenia Duran. She plans to attend Cisco College for her basics and then attend a university to major in early childhood education.
Kelly Ray Fambro. <laughs> Kelly is the granddaughter of Sammy Fambro. She plans to attend Abilene Christian University to, stutter, to study environmental science. Robert Earl Fuller. Robert is the son of Doug and Kim Fuller. He plans to attend Cisco College and work on the family ranch. Here, Utpal Gandhi. Here is the daughter of Utpal and Darshana Gandhi. She plans to attend Abilene Christian University, majoring in biochemistry. Parks Eric Gill. Parks is the son of Cheyenne Parks and Shane Gill. He will be attending Tarleton State University to study civil engineering. J.D. Danae Gonzalez. J.D. is the daughter of Dora Gonzalez. She plans to attend TSTC to pursue a career in nursing. Callie Elizabeth Griffin. Callie is the daughter of Roxana Perez and Nathan Griffin. She plans to attend Tarleton State University Honors College for Social Work. Chicago Deshaun James Harper. <laughs> Chicago is the son of Rochelle and Parker Perry. He plans to attend Texas State University to study business. Chase Edward Lear. Chase is the son of Sean and Shella Lear and Dorinda Lear. He plans to attend the University of North Texas to further his track career. Adler Lee Loftus. Adler, Adler is the son of Aaron and Amy Loftus. He will enter the power line industry and work for Kewitt Corporation. Jake Edward Malkut. Jake is the son of Amy and Matthew Moorhart. He plans to attend Northwestern Lineman College. Bradley Michael Martin. Bradley is the son of David and Christy Martin. He plans to attend Cisco College. Emilio Alejandro Maya Jr. Emilio is the son of Angela Maya. He plans on joining the Air Force. Brittany Renee Melton. Brit <laughs> Brittany is the daughter of Noah and Christy Gray and Michael Melton. She plans to attend Weatherford College and study kinesiology. Montserrat Guadalupe Mendoza. Monse is the daughter of Omar and Ilda Mendoza. She plans to attend Midwestern State University to become a dental hygienist. Tristan Cade Myers. 
Tristan is the son of Kenneth Myers and Melissa Myers. He plans to attend Texas A&M University for mechanical engineering. Emily Michelle Newbro. Emily is the daughter of Crystal Brown and Brent Newbro. She plans to attend Cisco College for Associates of Art and then will attend Texas State University for law. Abigail Kinsley Otts. <laughs> Abigail is the daughter of Kelsey and Serena Otts. She plans to attend Texas A&M University, majoring in philosophy. Camilla Maylene Palacios. <laughs> Camilla is the daughter of Jamie and Ana Palacios. She plans to attend Cisco College for her basics and pursue a career in the medical field as an ultrasound technician. Lysha Andrea Palacios. Lysha is the daughter of Dora Mendoza and Horacio Palacios. She plans to go to dental school. Tabitha Mercedes Pedroza. Tabitha is the daughter of Samantha Pedroza and Donald Spray. She plans to attend Cisco College. Keaton Cy Regal. <laughs> Keaton is the son of Casey and Letitia Regal. He plans to attend Abilene Christian University to study computer science. Anson Clark Rogers. Anson is the son of Andy and Ashley Rogers. He plans to attend Texas A&M University for his computer science degree. Avery Grace Rogers. Avery is the daughter of Andy and Ashley Rogers, and she plans to attend Texas A&M University and major in business. Donna Jacqueline Rodriguez Valdez. Donna is the daughter of Jose and Vanessa Rodriguez. She will be going to Cisco College in the fall to receive her basics for a science associate, and then a bachelor's in bioengineering, and work toward a job in the science technology field, and a weapons, an weapons analyst. Elizabeth San Lucas. <laughs> Elizabeth is the daughter of Elizabeth Esparza and Andres San Lucas. She plans to attend Texas Tech University and major in criminal psychology. Kara DeRay Scotty. Kara is the daughter of Kevin Scotty and Becky and Johnny Wade. She plans to attend Weatherford College. Alexander Lars Silva. Alexander is the son of Alex and Christy Silva. His future plans are to enter the workforce. Christopher Andrew Tharp. Christopher is the son of Ricky and Sylvia Tharp. He plans to attend the University of Texas Arlington and study computer science. Hagen Reese Thompson. <laughs> Hagen is the daughter of Truett and Deshaun Thompson. She plans to attend Angelo State University and earn her bachelor's degree and then pursue a career as a nurse practitioner. Lane Brock Tinkle. 
Lane is the son of James and Mindy Berger, James and Barbara Tinkle. He plans to attend Ranger College for his basics and then get a finance degree at Tarleton. Lourdes Jasmine Trejo Rivera. Lourdes is the daughter of Lourdes and Erasmo Trejo. She plans to become an orthopedic physical therapist. Matthew Dean Vega, Jr. Matthew is the son of David and Elva Valadez. He plans to take a gap year and then go to Cisco College. Jesse D. Warren. Jesse is the daughter of Will and Shonda Warren. She plans to attend Clarendon College to study sports nutrition and play volleyball. Eric Dean Anthony Williamson. Eric is the son of Monica Jones and Nathan Jones. He plans to attend TSTC for welding. Caitlin Joyce Wilson. Caitlin is the daughter of David Wilson and Sheila Wilson. She plans to become a real estate agent. And Courtney Nicole Wolf. Courtney is the daughter of Rebecca and Johnny Hill. She plans to attend Tarleton State University. Chase Jordan Wright. Chase is the son of Kevin and Mandy Wright. He plans to attend the University of North Texas to study computer science. Madison Elizabeth Yarger. Madison is the daughter of Aaron and Amy Loftus. She plans to continue her welding career in Montana. Kendall Drake Andrade. Kendall is the son of Amanda K. Carmack. He plans to attend Cisco College. John Damon Barrera. John is the son of Jonathan Barrera and Destiny Green. He will be attending TSTC. Keaton Chase Blevins. Keaton is the son of Jason and Chastity Blevins. His plans for the future are to enter the workforce. Britton Mikhail Blue. Britton is the daughter of Starla Blue and John Blue. She plans to attend cosmetology school. Tiffany Casillas. <laughs> Tiffany is the daughter of Dora Casillas and Manuel Casillas. She plans to attend Cisco College to get her degree in nursing. Sean Cecil Cooksey. <laughs> Sean is the son of Kathleen Guerrero and Jerome Cooksey. He plans to attend Abilene Christian University.
Amelia Nicole Diaz. Amelia is the daughter of Jenny and Brandon Cowger. She plans to attend Del Mar College for Culinary Arts. Kenzie Marie Falwell. Kenzie is the daughter of Brandy and Brian Jocelyn. She plans to attend TSTC to pursue a career in nursing. Cassidy Amber Nicole Fulsom. Cassidy is the granddaughter of Faye Cuday and the daughter of Brian Cuday and Stephanie Mejias. She plans to take a year off and enter the workforce and then go to college for a career in criminal psychology. Veronica Ulisa Gallegos. <laughs> Veronica is the daughter of Jose and Veronica Gallegos. She will be attending TSTC. Jewel Samantha Sanchez Green. Jewel is the daughter of John and Jocelyn Green. She plans to attend TSTC in the fall of 2023. JC Grace Hare. JC is the daughter of Sam Hare and Holly Hare. She plans to attend Angelo State University to become a physical therapist. Cameron Alexander Isbell. Cameron is the son of Tracy Carey. He plans to attend TSTC. Marco Javier Aramia. Marco is the son of Grace Aramio. He plans to continue pursuing his career in welding at TSTC. Jerry McKenzie Lawson. Jerry is the son of Lori Robertson and Victor Lawson. He plans to attend Abilene Christian University to pursue, pursue his passion of playing football and majoring in kinesiology. Isaiah Cole Lear. Isaiah plans to attend McMurray University, play football, and participate in track and field. Callie Nicole Linden. Callie is the daughter of Tiffany and Jeremy Crane and John Linden. She plans to attend TSTC for nursing in the fall of 2023. Devin Allen McGee. Devin is the son of Dahlia Jones. He plans to go into the music industry. Isaac Angel Marentis. Isaac is the son of Delia Marentis and Misael Marentis. He plans to enter the workforce. Elena Michelle Martin. Elena is the daughter of Mary Raines and Rendell Martin. She plans to attend Cisco College for cosmetology. Dijon Diane Mendez. Dijon is the daughter of Jennifer Coger and Brian Coger. She plans to take a year to work in the medical field, get hands-on experience, and then attend Cisco College for her basics, and then go to dental hygienist school. Jose Manuel Mendoza. Jose is the son of Jose and Maria Mendoza. 
He will leave for boot camp on June 20th for the United States Marine Corps. Garrett Leon Rose. Garrett is the son of Kippy Yose and Justin Rose. He plans to attend a Cisco College. Adrian Anthony Ruiz. Adrian is the son of Jaylee Fraley. He plans to attend Eastern New Mexico College. Elijah Alberto Salazar. Elijah is the son of Melissa Ventura and Alberto Salazar. He plans to attend Barber College. Nicholas Ty Shockley. Nicholas is the son of Justin and Crystal Shockley. He plans to enter the workforce and then go to community college. Alexis Shea Short. Alexis is the son of Matthew and Courtney Nichols and Benjamin and Adrian Short. She plans to attend TSTC and pursue a nursing career. Jaquan Roderick Simon. Jaquan is the son of Kelly Nelson and Dewan Simon. He plans to attend college for real estate. Harry Lynn Thurman III. <laughs> Harry is the son of Harry Lynn Jr. and Misty Thurman. His future plans are to become a lineman. Gabriella Isabel Torales. <laughs> Gabriella is the daughter of Jose and Ana Torales. She plans to attend cosmetology school. Braden Scott Tribble. Braden is the grandson of Rick and Adela Gutierrez. His future plans are to attend TSTC. Jesse Kane Van Meter. Jesse is the son of Jesse Van Meter and Amber George Samantha Stanley. He plans to enter the workforce. Braxton Lee Wade. Braxton is the son of Tiffany Wade and Johnny Wade. He plans to attend TSTC for welding. Katie Elizabeth Wright. Katie is the daughter of Tim and Amanda Wright. She plans to attend Cisco College for her basics.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's give one more round of applause for the class of 23. As we, as we bring our ceremony to a close, I'm going to ask everybody to pre please stand. I'm going to ask Ms. Avery Rogers to come up and give her benediction, followed by our senior cheerleaders and student council, and our celebration. Bow your heads with me. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for being, allowing us to be here today, Lord, and meet the certifications to graduate today, Lord. I just thank you for everyone here, um, all of our family and friends gathered here to watch us graduate today, Lord. Um, I just thank you for their love and support through the past 12 years of, as we've gone through school, Lord. I pray um, for safe travels for everyone going home today or tomorrow, Lord. Um, and I just thank you for all of our teachers, mentors, family and friends that have helped us go through school the past 12 years, Lord. Without them, we wouldn't be where we are today, Lord. And I just pray that you be with each and every one of us graduates as we um, just go into this next chapter of our life, Lord, that you just be with us and guide us every step of the way. Amen. As we have all of our senior cheerleaders and STUCO members coming to the front, for those of you who are alumni to BHS, please feel free to uh, sing along with us.